An important step in working on a high-speed PCB is defining its layer stack. Before starting the design of the board, it is necessary to determine the number of layers, the material used, find out what impedance of conductors or differential pairs are required, and also set the appropriate sequence of the layers. A well-designed layer stack is the foundation of a successful project. The number of layers in a board is influenced by many factors, such as the number of elements and the density of their arrangement, as well as the number of interconnections, types of packages of the elements used, and the number and pitch of their pins. This is especially true for BGA components, where it is often impossible to output all signals without using internal layers. At the same time, you must also understand what the minimum width of the conductors and the clearance on the board will be. Please note that reducing the width of the conductors, as well as increasing the number of layers, increases the cost of the board, so a certain balance must be observed. In practice, when using BGA microcircuits, some of the pins are connected to the supply, power domains, some to the ground nets, and the rest is used for signals. It will be useful to estimate the percentage of the involved pins of the microcircuit to calculate the required number of layers. In the PCB editor, layer stack management is found in the Design Layer Stack Manager menu. The layer stack opens in a separate tab but is stored in the PCB file. We can add layers of copper, dielectrics and surface finish to its structure, after which we can change the parameters of material manually or select preset materials from the library. Also in the Tools Presets menu, there are a number of preset layer stacks based on actual board designs. In addition, it is possible to save the layer stack to a file and load it in other projects. In addition to the number of layers, it is very important to determine the sequence of signal and reference layers in the layer stack. The fact is that high-speed signals propagate along transmission lines which are a conductor and a reference layer. Therefore, it is important to adhere to a certain order of the signals and reference layers in the board. Ideally, to ensure signal integrity, each signal layer should have a ground or power reference layer. When defining the layer stack structure, it is also highly desirable that the layers that contain the ground and power polygons are located next to each other and are separated by a dielectric of minimum thickness. In this case, such layers form a large planar capacitor, which has a positive effect on the power supply system. The structure of the layer stack also determines an important parameter of the transmission line its impedance, which depends on the dielectric constant, the width of the conductor, the thickness of the foil and the dielectric. Altium Designer allows, based on the layer stack structure, to automatically calculate the geometric dimensions of a conductor or differential pair to provide the required impedance. Dimensions are saved in a special impedance profile that can be used in design rules for routing. It is worth noting that the structure of the layer stack must be symmetrical about the middle in order to avoid wrapping the board during manufacture. When the stack symmetry checkbox is checked, new layers are added to the stack symmetrically in the middle. With a dense layout, as well as with a small pitch of BGA components in high-speed boards, microwires as well as buried and blind wires can be used. To use them on the board, they must be added in the Wire Types tab of the Layer Stack Manager. Here you can add a template for back drilling wires and pads, which is used to remove stops from high-speed signals. You need to decide on the layer stack before you start routing the high-speed board. It is also recommended that you check with your PCB manufacturer for structure, stack material, microwires and back drilling. For this, it is convenient to use the Draftsman document, where you can place a visual structure of the layer stack. Such a file will be useful in the future, when the work on the board is finished. The layer stack structure will need to be sent to the PCB manufacturer along with the fabrication outputs.